those of you who are newer, I'm going to give you a quick little peep around the truck. This is my 1996 Dodge 2500 SLT with the 5.9 meter 12 valve Cummins in it. My tires, people ask a lot, they're 33s. Fives. 17 by 9 fuel hostage wheels with a negative 12 offset. This gives you a little bit of tire poke, but nothing crazy. I've got to off camera because not everybody here is a deer hunter, but I got a deer last night, um, so I got to take it into the shop here, but then we're going to try to get something done with the nasty red 12 valve. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do today. Now, if you guys are into hunting, you are into the outdoors, I'm not showing you this because this is not a hunting channel and some people don't take too well to it. But if you are into hunting, you are into the outdoors, you're just enjoying it, um, I have a hunting channel. I kind of blog my hunts on there. So if you guys want to subscribe to that, it's Brotherhood Outdoors. I just shot a deer on camera last night. Just like most of my life, it seems like um, it's on footage for you guys to share it with other people of similar interests and similar passion. So, Definitely go check that out if you guys are into the outdoors and hunting and that type of deal. But anyway, we're going to get the gear loaded up in here. We're going to get it to the shop. Then we're going to get back and try to get something done. Then we're going to try to get back and get something done here on the Nasty Red 12 valve. Uh, this is another lighting accessory, but this is one that I'm freaking stoked about. I'm very excited. We're going to go get this gear dropped off. I'll get back to you guys in probably about an hour and we'll get this done. Well guys, we're back in the barn and as you guys have guessed it and I've already kind of told you, I'm sure you guys kind of got it from the thumbnail, um, it is a light bar, a roof mounted light bar for the nasty red 12 valve. A company sent me this light bar and they wanted me to test it out, just kind of see how it works, kind of give you guys my honest opinion on it, on functionality, look, I guess, you know, all the stuff, durability, stuff like that. So. You got your wiring harness, of course. Um, and let me get the light bar pulled out because this is actually a, get my camera propped up. It's actually a pretty big light bar. It's a 52 inch to go across the roof of the truck. And I did have to buy separately. You're gonna have to buy according to your truck. You go on like Amazon. Um, I'll leave the link to the second gen Dodge brackets, roof mounting brackets there in the description. But if you don't have a second gen Dodge, you're gonna have to go on Amazon or something and just search, you know, 52 inch light bar mounting brackets for blank, you know, whatever trick you have. So just do that. I think we have the hardware right there. These are the brackets, just the generic ones that come. Like if you wanna stick it on your bumper or something, you know, just sit it right on top of a flush flat bumper, that's, that would probably work fine. And it is a curved light bar. I haven't actually taken it out and looked at it yet, but see how it sets across the roof. Yeah, it mounts right across. I just had to make sure it would reach. It says it was going to reach, but you never know sometimes. So anyways, I'm going to get this opened up. Now, from my understanding, this light bar should change color if I'm not mistaken dude it looks freaking sweet and like I said from my understanding this light bar was supposed to from my understanding the light bar should be able to um, change color I do believe yeah guys I've been saying here and there you know the camera quality was good and now it sucks and this and blah 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 go back to using your dad's camera and this is my dad's camera this is the nice one and it's just that the autofocus isn't super responsive but when it is like right there um, things come through pretty clear so see like when it clears up it's incredible video um, but it's just a matter of it wanting to focus like there it goes again blurry and now it's cleared up so that's the deal with the camera, it's just autofocus is kind of a son of a gun, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm gonna get to looking everything over, seeing how this all looks. I don't know if I'm missing something or not, like I don't know. Um, it looks like there's just one part here that plugs into the end. 
Dang, autofocus is killing me. Um, I guess we'll get it all mounted up, um, get it plugged in, see how everything functions, if there's anything that needs to be done, or if nonetheless, we should be able to get it mounted up and get at least the main light on. So we're gonna get right to that. Now, I do want to kind of step you through what we're going to be doing. I watched a quick video with Diesel Dave, about a 60 second video, and basically, to my understanding, um, you can peel back the weather strip or something, I believe. Like, yeah, there's a weather strip here, and you should be able to peel it back um, to, I'm not sure how far you need to go down or if you need to go any further than that or not, but you need to peel the weather strip down, undo a couple of these screws um, to take this Okay, yeah, that's kind of gross. But anyways, undo some of these screws so you can pull this out, this metal piece out enough so you can mark it and then uh, take some snips and then snip it out the width of the um, bracket that's going in. Do the same thing on the other side, you know, and you're gonna run your wiring, I'm sure, basically probably on this metal track. Um, if I'm not wrong, I'm, not, I'm really not sure. I guess I'm just gonna peel this off completely because I don't know how else I'm gonna be able to run the wiring without doing that anyhow. So um, basically, you're gonna run your wiring through and uh, it'll probably just take it right through here into your engine bay. And then from that point, you can run your switch in through the bottom and then hook up your battery stuff, all that jazz. So I'm just gonna to get to installing this because I've showed you guys so many times how to wire up light bars, how to connect white bars, and this looks like it's gonna be the same thing. So I'll, of course, after I'm done installing the light bar itself, now that I kind of showed you, do a real quick recap on what I did, how I did it, how easy it was, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna set up the camera, and we're gonna to get to installing this light bar. Okay guys, so I've only come into really pretty much just one problem that's just kind of annoying. I mean, I'll try to address that very quickly here. You see right here, this, if I can get this to focus at all. Okay, there's this connective piece. Well, in this harness, it's got a connector, which at first you would think is really nice, you know, just a quick connect, which it is a nice feature if you're not putting it on the roof. Any other, uh, any other application, it would work great, but since I'm putting it on the roof, it does. it's kind of annoying. Um, there's a quick connect piece. However, since, like I said, we're putting it on the roof and I'm trying to hide the wiring up through, you can't hide this whole big brick up through there. Um, I mean, it's just not its just not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to cut the wires here, cut the wires, the harness right there, get rid of the nifty quick connect piece, um, and then put some quick connectors on there, tape them up, and then put it up in there, hide it up there. Otherwise, it hides up underneath the weather stripping around the windshield and stuff very nicely. Um, and is a clean install so we're gonna get those cut spliced together and hidden up in there and we should be just about ready to wrap it up focus with this camera would be nice gosh I have had like extra problem with this thing focusing today okay guys so we got the light bar mounted up on the roof definitely was you know easy to do I got all the wiring ran through 
got it hidden up here underneath the uh, if I can get this focus I've got the wiring harness wired up through underneath this I don't know weather guard there um, got the ground put down at the ground here for the dual seven and a half inch I've got the um, red ran to the positive on the battery post um, let's see man guys I'm sorry this camera is being like wacko wacko no focus today I do not know what's going on but it's just not cooperating at all it's driving me nuts um, got it ran to the firewall here's your switch there's your light bar I can get this thing to focus properly, that'd be nice. Anyway, so you guys see how it is in the, in, in the engine bay. And then I got it ran through, if you look down through here, um, if it'll focus. I got the wiring harness ran down onto the weather, weather strip, zip tied together right there to keep it tight. And then there's a little hole underneath there with some other factory wiring that goes to your hood light. Um, then just ran it through here like that. That's the cleanest look. I think I got everything covered in the under the hood. Wow, the thing is, good gosh, that is bright. I will get, I will say, this thing is freaking bright. If I can get this thing to focus, gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. This dang camera is driving me nuts. Anyways, this thing is so freaking bright. Like, it's honestly hurting my eyes a little bit looking at it. I look at it. But this is the brackets. And uh, I do like the design of these brackets, and I'll show you why. Actually, I'm going to get the light bar turned off because that's a lot of power drawing from the battery when the truck's not running. So I'm going to, maybe not a ton, but more than I'd like it to right now. Um, but let me show you how these brackets mount up. I'll leave a link to these brackets in the description below for you guys. But basically, they just mount up, obviously, basically right above where the corner of the windshield is here is where the front of the bracket will be. It'll sit right there flush, and then this part right here can rest on this rubber piece and not like on the glass or back here on the metal um, where it'll make a bunch of noise. And then the light bar itself is contoured, like I said, to the grill, I mean, not the grill, to the windshield, um, and it fits very nice. And the way I had it set up, which is the way you're supposed to do it, um, is to where basically the light bar sits flush with the roof of the truck. Now it's hard to tell because of the bracket contouring there and my angle I'm trying to get at, but um, basically the light bar sits flush with the um, roof itself. It's a, it's a great light bar. I just had so many issues with the, the weather stripping crap like that. Like it has nothing to do with the light bar. Um, just the weather strip and just just little nonsense trying to get that on like it took me an hour like to get the weather strips on and off and there's got to be a better way to do it I've just never done it before uh, but uh, really to mount the light bar itself was extremely easy wasn't hard at all it's just all the little stuff that has to do with the truck and you know, I get the weather strips on and off and lining it all up and just crap like that so anyways looks good it's a clean look so yeah guys the light bar mounted up easily and I love it it looks really good on the truck um, the brackets, everything lines up nice, makes it to where the brackets drop low to where the light bar sits flush with the, if you look at it from this angle, the light bar sits flush with the roof of the truck and it's not like an extra jolting up like unusual like, you know, raise on the roof line I guess to grab a lot of extra wind and stuff like that. Um, I mounted up pretty easily, you've got that gap under the windshield so it's not resting on the glass, it's a curved looks really good the glass is super super clean on it super um super good looking and i think this one does change colors i almost ended out that video and did not even show you guys the color features of the thing it comes with a remote this little itty bitty remote and basically when you turn your light bar on this thing you can use to power the different colors and options and stuff like that so i'm gonna really quick turn off the lights it's pitch black out turn off the lights in the barn and kind of go through some of the colors on the remote and show you guys the color feature with this light bar. It makes it super cool and it really stands out. Okay, now I know it's I know it's super dark, so bear with me. But we're about to make it freaking bright in here. <sighs> Holy crap, dudes! Okay, some rust just fell off. Don't mind that. You got the remote. 
there's a power button on here. Hit that and it immediately starts doing like crazy stuff. It's not focusing, but if you could see this right now, you would see how dope this is. There's seriously colors moving all over around the light bar. Set the speed up. You can increase the speed and it'll make the colors move around it faster or decrease it and then they start to move slower, move faster. Decrease it and then it goes slow. Um, and then there's blue and then there's yellow, purple. Dude, this is so freaking dope. Pink? Dudes, and this didn't even have like a big giant Bluetooth like box or something to, you had to like set somewhere or anything. I was like, it's just plugged in just like a normal light bar. And then it comes with a little remote that's already programmed to it. That's all. Guys, I wish you could see this. I'm gonna get some light on to see if you can see it with the barn light on, if you could actually see what it's doing. Cause like there's no justice through this. Ah, is there any justice? A little bit there. Okay. I have to have the barn lights on to kind of actually be able to show this thing off. Orange? <laughs> oh, dude. Auto mode. This is sick. All red? I'm just I'm just seeing this stuff for the first time. So sorry for my reactions, but I'm just now seeing this for the first time. This is sick. Um, let's see here, we got some green. Well, that's freaking cool. This is just too fun right now, guys. Some of these features, I have no idea. Like, I've never used this thing before. Flash, oh, that is dope. Oh my gosh. Let's flash blue. We can flash it orange, green. Okay, no more flash because I'm like going blind. Just all different settings of it. Um, what is that? WL, turn that off. That is sick! You can seriously turn off the white light bar if you only want like that glowing strip around the ends. So, you got the remote here. Um, get it to focus. Click power on. Okay, doesn't have anything to do with that. Okay, um, click WL. I'm guessing, yeah, stands for white light, I would assume. And then you can do white light off. Let's see, what does AL stand for? Okay, all light maybe. Turn that off, and then adjust the parameter lights. And then you can change that to whatever color your heart desires, sweetie. There you go. <laughs> that is actually a freaking sick color. That blue, I would love to have that to match my boss head unit and my gauges. Auto. Dudes, this is sick. Okay, 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 I'm gonna turn this off, I'm done. I'm done having too much fun with this. Okay, um, white light, off, off, off. Okay, I, I just seriously, I turned the light bar off with a remote. And I just turned on with the remote, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, okay. Guys, that is too freaking lit, that is sick. Guys, I officially freaking like love this freaking light bar. You guys have to go freaking check this thing out. I've said freaking a lot and I understand that, I'm sorry. But this thing is so freaking cool, okay. So you guys have to go check one of these out. Link in the description It's too lit. It is legit too lit. Like, lit would be an understatement for how cool this light bar is. So definitely go check it out in the description below. Little itty bitty remote. Guys, come on. I'll catch you guys in a sec. All I gotta do is zip tie up the switch and I'm not really sure where I want to do that. I could probably honestly run it. I'm trying to see where I could run it. Really, I could probably run it up where I have this other one, which is for the um, two small light bars up front. If you see the light shine on those boxes. That's a, those are two pretty bright seven and a halves. Um, I might just tuck it up in there really quick and then show you once I get that done. I got the wiring for that switch ran down through here where I do have the wiring for the seven and a half inch bars. If I can get the focus, good golly miss dolly. There we go. Anyways, the wiring harness is ran down through up in the crack of the door here. And it's actually like, it's actually pretty, pretty good in there. Um, and then it goes up through here and it's pinched back behind um, this portion here. 
and it's just sitting next to the other switch up here. Reason for that is dad's truck don't really want to go chopping holes through his dash and stuff like that just to make switches like I did in my truck, which is fine, but it's really, um, I mean, this isn't like the cleanest look, but since it's a farm truck, the thing is mostly just sitting in our garage right now. Um, this is plenty good enough for us. Hit the switch. Can we get them both turned on? Both sets of light bars. That is freaking bright, boys. Yeah, um, if you're driving down the road with these, which you should not do because it's illegal um, in most states, people would definitely see it coming or they wouldn't be able to see it coming because they'd be blinded. Um, but Overall guys, I'm probably gonna come to a wrap up with this video. Anyways guys, that is going to be a wrap on this video. I know it wasn't, I've been saying this a lot lately and I know, I gotta stop, I gotta stop saying it. Uh, but this wasn't like, like the craziest thing that I could have done. Uh, but since I don't have my next truck yet, it's just kind of like one of those things. So, got another thing done on the nasty red. Um, it's definitely, you know, like I said, let me get the moose mirrors out for the die hard moose fans. Let's get the moose mirrors out on the old on the old red 12 or here so you guys can get some moose power going on i got the mirrors all folded up looks like a cowering down puppy there we go now i know a bunch of people are about to freak out in the comments holy crap get those mirrors down before something terrible happens to you it's bad luck to have tow mirrors up when it's not towing definitely go and check out this light bar in the brackets in the description below i will leave links to the light bar up on the roof there i will leave a link to the brackets up there if you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know down in the comments below and like i said go check out the light bar it's a good light bar it's super super freaking bright and you don't have to use these brackets but these are the ones that i went with because you know they're heavier duty they're made to drop the light bar down over the front of the windshield um, instead of stick straight up on top of the cab. Uh, basically, and I prefer that over the, you know, standing up way up in the air over the cab look. But, uh, you know, that's, I mean, that's me. That's my preference. Um, I like these brackets. I like this light bar. I think you guys should go check one out. Um, links in the description. Very easy to install brackets mount right up. What I would recommend though for these um, brackets, instead of using the little option that they come with, which is like some studs that you tap in and then, you know, whatever. Uh, I would just recommend going and buying some like half inch length self tapping screws. And I would go get a handful of those to do the three on each side, three on that side, um, versus the way that, you know, these brackets come with to do it because it's just not quite as effective as just like self tapping screws would be, which would be way way easier in my opinion to be quite honest with you um, anyways guys enough enough rambling on you guys get the idea go check out the light bar go check out the brackets pick up some self tapping screws and you go to install this thing always remember moose power moose power unite moose unite I don't even know what I'm talking about anyways guys don't I just want to go hunting I really want to go hunting so I'm gonna go um, anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video definitely leave me a thumbs up leave me your comments below subscribe if you are new Thank you guys for 25,000. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight and go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright. Live a normal life, doing nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.